when you, when you figure out that every hour you sleep, you're not making money, you'll never sleep again. Be careful who you piss off. Well, you shouldn't be pissing off anybody like Bill Gates. Or you shouldn't be pissing off anybody like me. Or you shouldn't be pissing off anybody like Warren Buffett. And we, we have had students, mentees, whatever you want to call yourselves, that have gotten through to Warren, that have gotten through to Charlie Munger, that have gotten through to Bill Gates, had gotten through to Steve Jobs when he was still alive, have gotten through to Elon Musk in their search for dream teams. Because contrary to what you've been taught, you can contact those people if you try hard enough. The operative word is try, well, there's more than one word, try hard enough. How many ever words that is? And what you normally do is you make one or two phone calls, if at that. And the guy that got through to Bill Gates, his email address at Microsoft used to be bgates at microsoft.com. Now, that's pretty simple, isn't it? So finally, some dipshit eight or ten years ago, maybe longer when he was still at Microsoft, tried that, and guess what? His personal secretary responded back, does Mr. Gates know you? And, and then, instead, we're going to teach you what to say. But this dipshit said the wrong thing. No, I'm just a bird from uh, Topeka, Kansas. I don't, I'm just poor and I'm trying to get rich. But anyway, we teach you what to say. Okay. Of course, he knows of me. And so, for those of you that are more or less and you don't want to lie, we, we give you a little scripts and templates to say so you uh, won't infringe upon, upon any religious beliefs you might have. Well, when I got up this morning, the first time, I normally get up in the middle of the night, I work for an hour or two, and then I go back to sleep. Then uh, I get up again, and I work for a couple hours, and I go back to sleep, and then I finally get up again, and I was practicing even though I could give these slides in a coma. Somebody could shoot me in the head right now, and I could give these slides. But uh, I check emails, I check on all the projects, uh, the, the kids that I'm mentoring, uh, the other kids like Michael that are in the, what I call the guru business. Um, and I'm doing it 24-7, 365. 24-7, 365. And I've been doing this almost 50 years. My habits, the difference between myself and most of you in this audience, myself and most of the people in all the audiences, Steve Jobs and most of the people in the audiences, Elon Musk and most of the people, is they have extraordinary work habits. Most of you don't like the idea of working 100, 120 hours a week. Remember, Holland's heaven. If Holland is heaven, why do I have to work 100 hours a week? Well, first of all, Holland's not heaven. And second of all, as Elon Musk has said many, many times in the last few years, a guy that works 100 hours a week, I would rather have than a guy that works 40 hours a week because he's going to get the job done twice as fast. I'm not looking for maximum IQ. I'm looking for maximum horsepower in work ethic. I'm looking for perspiration, not inspiration. As long as she can work 100 hours, 120 hours a week, don't, why confuse the issue with a CEO? You, I say that because I know you're not going to work 120 hours a week. I, I know, I can, you know. Like I took a shit this morning and wiped my ass, I know you're not going to do that. I absolutely, if you keep track, on the weekly reports, and remember the reports are for you, you, how many hours you work a day, you will be stunned, embarrassed. When Marcus Bauer tells me he worked 11.7 hours a day, 365 days in 2019, I believe him. When Andreas Gestapo tells me yeah, I made 1,613 calls for my first deal. These are the numbers. You're going to have, you, you may get lucky in the first guy you call, which isn't likely, because you're going to be stubborn. Remember, you heard I was sweating and stuttering. That's going to be you. And you're not going to, your camera's not going to work on you because you're embarrassed to, see, to show them what you look like. Because you're not going to go out and make 50 presentations like I tell you to. You're not going to join Toastmasters like I tell you to. Um, you're not going to join improv, improvisation like I tell you to. You're not going to go uh, join a club that you can't afford like I tell you to. I've been doing this a long time. You're still looking for an easy way. I can see it in your eyes. There isn't any. Most of you, if you continue down that path, most of you will fail. And like I told you yesterday, you're going to get on Reddit and say QLA doesn't work. Instead of QLA didn't work because I'm a lazy cunt, which you are. If you're not going to put 100 hours a week in this, you're going to fail or you're going to take 10 years.
And to me, taking 10 years is failing. Oh, I'm having trouble getting enough rest. And he jumped out of his chair and said, Rest? You can sleep when you're 30. And he says, I want somebody that works 28 hours a day and bleeds through his eyeballs. And you agree with that mentality? Well, I don't need the blood through his eyeballs, but... Um, but you think more work is better? No, more smart work is better. Okay. Most people make play at their work. Just because you might work 12 hours a day doesn't mean you're working 12 hours. You're staying busy 12 hours a day. Right. Right. Okay. Usually the people that tell you they're working 12 hours a day aren't the ones that are working. Yeah. Usually the people that tell you how many hours a week. I still work. I'm retired at 60, 70 hours a week. When I was your age, I worked 100, 120 hours a week. Yeah, man, you're trying to make me feel bad here. No, no. Okay. Well, you're retired now too. <laughs> if I left here the day after the seminar, I could have a board, a deal, financing, and a deal done in less than 30 days. Maybe two weeks. I don't like to work 20 hours a day anymore, but if I just work my normal 60, 70 hours a week, a month. Without even breaking a sweat. Just as you can. You'll be breaking a sweat, though. You'll be doing... Uh, when Josh was... Uh, um, he had a 60-hour-a-week job, and he was doing QLA 70 hours a week. That doesn't give him much room for sleep, does it? But you'll say, well, fuck, he was 17, 18. You don't need sleep when you're 17, 18. You, will already, you already got a reason why he, you can't work 130, 40 hours a week. That you need sleep. He cut back to three hours a night's sleep, the guy you just listened to, and then he couldn't take it. He only lasted a few weeks at three hours a night's sleep, and so he had to go back to four hours.